Today, we're celebrating all things Irish with some way over the top chocolate stout cupcakes with Irish cream frosting. This is part of a wonderful St. Patty's Day collaboration being hosted by one of my very favorite YouTube foodies, Donald Skian. If you're not familiar with Donald's channel, I highly recommend you head over and check it out. It is full of all sorts of deliciousness. And of course, Donald also just happens to be one of my very favorite Irishmen. Hi, Sarah Lynn, Cade Mila Falcha to Ireland. I'm outside Hoth Lighthouse here in my hometown of Hoth, a little fishing village just outside Dublin city. I cannot wait to see what you come up with for my St. Patrick's Day collaboration. And if you head over to my channel, I'm cooking up the most beautiful potato dinner rolls topped with Irish cheddar. They are light, fluffy, and totally delicious. The perfect thing to serve up at your big St. Patrick's Day feast. Come over to my channel, subscribe, say hello, and I hope to see you soon. Don't Donald's dinner rolls look unbelievable? I cannot wait to give them a try myself. But now it's time to talk about some cupcakes. Some chocolate stout cupcakes to be exact. And of course, for the base of these cupcakes, we are using some dark, rich Irish stout. So I've got a small saucepan heating up on the stove and I'm going to be combining some Irish stout and some butter. A lot of butter. But of course, holiday calories don't count, so don't even worry about it. We're going to heat this mixture over medium high until our butter has melted completely. Then we are going to turn off our heat and add our cocoa powder and our brown sugar. We're going to stir this together really well until the brown sugar has dissolved completely. Then we are going to let this mixture cool completely and in the meantime, we are going to mix together our dry ingredients. So I've got some all-purpose flour standing by and to that I'm going to add some granulated sugar, some baking soda, and some salt. We're going to whisk these together well and then we are going to add them to the bowl of our stand mixer. And we are just gonna to start to mix this together on low. To my dry ingredients, I'm going to mix in my yummy chocolate stout concoction, two eggs and some sour cream. It may sound a little peculiar, but sour cream will give you a nice, light, moist, fluffy cupcake. Now that my batter is mixed, I'm just going to use an ice cream scoop to scoop the batter into my cupcake liners. Then I'm going to bake these beauties at 350 degrees for between 20 and 25 minutes. In the meantime, while those are baking away, we are going to get started on our Irish cream frosting. Oh yeah, this stuff is magic. To the bowl of my stand mixer, I am going to add some room temperature butter and I'm going to whip the butter really well until it's aerated. To that, I am going to add some icing sugar. Now, I definitely recommend adding your icing sugar slowly and keeping your stand mixer on low so you don't have a big poof cloud of icing sugar. We're going to let our mixer do its work until our buttercream has come together. And then it is time to add our Irish cream liqueur. Now, you could definitely use the store-bought kind, that's fine, but if you wanna take this a step further, try making your very own. I'm leaving my Irish cream recipe in the description box below. Once your Irish cream is well incorporated, you can transfer the entire mixture to an icing bag. Just remember, you wanna make sure that your cupcakes are completely cool before you try to ice them. Otherwise, the buttercream will melt all over the place and make a hot mess. We're going to ice each of our cupcakes and then finish them off with just a little dusting of cocoa powder. And that's how we do St. Patrick's Day in my house. I hope you guys will give this tasty recipe a try. And if you do, be sure to tweet or Instagram me a photo because you know I love seeing what you're coming up with in your very own kitchens. And don't forget to head over to Donald's channel to try those unbelievable Irish potato cheddar dinner rolls. How great do those look? And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to The Domestic Geek because there's lots more deliciousness where this came from. Happy St. Patrick's Day!